and welcome to our series of public awareness program. Today we are, going, we are going to talk about smoking and we have here with us Dr. Tom Siri, who is an MBE, he is a member of the British Empire. Uh, he studied um, medicine in the Imperial St. Mary's Hospital and he also had a BSc in physiology and biochemistry and master's degree in pharmacology, both in the University of London. And right now he's the vice president of uh, British Medical Association of Enfield and Haringey. Really happy, happy that you're here again with us today. Thank you. Thank I'm also you. happy to be with you. If I can be any good or help, <laughs> then I'll appreciate to my community. You yeah. help us with uh, cholesterol uh, uh, misunderstandings. And so now with smoking, uh, every, we all know that it's harmful. Uh, why is it so harmful? Okay, use the word harmful, which I like it, because it is harmful because it contains more than 4,000 harmful substances, um, i.e. 4,000 poisonous stuff, okay? Because th all these can cause these poisons, harm can cause problems all over the body. Okay, number two, if you like, we can just uh, give into stages and I can talk more about it if you want to. Okay, that's yeah, number please. one. Number two, oxygen is more important than food, mm -hmm. okay? So when you smoke cigarettes, then your oxygen level in the blood goes down. And you know that in, in Cypriot uh, houses in the old days, they used to use charcoal to warm themselves. Yes. But if they forgot to open the windows, in the morning they were found dead. You know why? Because the smoking produces carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide uh, poisonous uh, gases. So when you take the cigarette, you just don't take just the um, tobacco or anything. Burning all the paper, burning all the things. Which burning things contains poisonous gas. So what happens? Unfortunately, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide they go faster into the lungs, into the blood, than oxygen. They go first. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it decreases. So lungs become saturated with more carbon dioxide and monoxide. So if you do a test with oximeters to test the blood level of oxygen, people that smoke, they have less oxygen. So i.e., if you are smoking, you give yourself less oxygen or contaminated uh, uh, blood. Also, when you smoke, every time you smoke, uh, it stimulates nerve endings and there's muscles around the arteries. It constricts. When it's like that, it constricts like that, it gets smaller. I'll show here as well. These are the nerve endings from smoking, nicotine, all that things. What happens? It shuts, closes, so it gets narrow. So when it gets narrow, what happens? You have less blood flow to where you want. All of our organs, like brain, kidneys, liver, needs the blood supply. So you get less and less. In addition to this less, <laughs> okay, in addition to less, less, what happens? You also get contaminated. So that's how it is, it narrows. So suppose, again, you have a small garden. Cyprus always have gardens, or elders, okay? For my, <laughs> like like my cousins gardens. in Hios, okay? <laughs> so in Hios as well have cousins, so. Uh, they have the gardens. So you have tomatoes garden, orange, whatever it is. So if you give them, um, this, you have the solinas, okay, you have the pipes taking the water. If you give them less, less water, tomatoes don't grow very well. And also if you give them dirty water, they get worse. If it's blocks, it dies. So same thing with it. So you are giving yourself dirty petrol. If you put dirty petrol to your car and less, what happens to carburetor? Car doesn't go. So we are doing the same thing. People who smoke, you just poisoning yourself. You know, you give yourself dirty water. But when this blood vessel constricts, what happens? Also, blood pressure goes up. Take somebody's blood pressure before they smoke, and then take blood pressure after they smoke. They'll see that blood pressure goes up. You know why? Because when you ski the with every anything, cigarette. Yes, of course. Because that's what happens. And you see, it ta it takes 70 sec 77 seconds. Not more than that, not 80, 77 seconds for nicotine to go to the brain when you smoke. So immediately it constricts. And this can last almost half an hour to one hour constriction. 
And also nicotine, it stays uh, almost one and a half days in the brain, when it comes to brain. So we can talk about this later on how it does. But what I'm saying, so it decreases the uh, oxygen level, constricts the blood vessels, less flow, and makes it dirty. So in you addition to... Mentioned, you also mentioned the lungs. How does tar and nicotine uh, affect okay, the lungs? I can come to that as well, okay. no problem. Okay, so sorry. Also, it makes the blood vessel, red blood cells, more sticky. When you smoke all the time like that, it becomes more sticky. But you want blood cells, like red cells, what does it do? It is the red cells, transporters, vehicles, takes oxygen to the brain, and also, it also takes sugar. Sugar and oxygen is carried by red cells. That's why you need to get, in addition to iron rest, okay? And also, don't forget, brain, uh, every part of the body has uh, storage. Like if I, so occlude blood going, occlude blood going to my hand or leg for a few hours, nothing happens. But brain needs continuous supply of oxygen and sugar because it doesn't have a storage system. Mm -hmm. So that's why people, when you close their uh, neck or something like that, they die because not oxygen goes in, no sugar goes in. That's, that's why you need this continuous good supply. So brain doesn't function better either. So red cells become sticky. When it becomes sticky, so again, this is the arteries, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the red cells. They become sticky, it sticks in the arteries. So you got one hand cholesterol, which we talked before. You got red cells plus extra calcium. All together, what happens? Instead of being big like that, what happens? It narrows. So this is the blood. These small red things are blood cells. It's supposed to go up and down, blow like that. So the uh, yellow one represents the cholesterol, and the red ones. So this is how the blood vessels are. It's uh, nice and big. When you are born from death, it's open. As we get older, they get smaller and smaller. So these are the cells in it. So when you smoke, when you have cholesterol and red cells go, that's what happened. Big vessel becomes small, it's blocked. So you don't have good flow to the liver, brain, anywhere. Even the legs. That's why some people from smoking, what happens? They cut their legs. Because sometimes they're severe. I mean, smoking closes their vessels. Some people are like that. So and if you go to the heart, you get a heart attack. So okay. also, it reduces body's immune system. The smokers get more infection than normal people. Mm -hmm. because it affects the immune system, it affects the cells, not enough blood goes to the cells' bodies. So there's another uh, problem arise there. Also, uh, in the body we have white cells which, which they fight against bacteria and infections. But when you smoke, you can't fight very well. So often these smokers, they get bronchitis and you get them antibiotics to kill their bacteria. But as I said to you, when you smoke, it's not the bacteria you smoke, you have particles. So how are we going to get rid of those particles? It's not bacteria active antibiotic, the white cell doesn't function. So in the body, in the chromosomes, we have a special part, it's called oncogen. Oncogens are genes mm -hmm. that uh, try to get rid of these particles. So what happens when these harmful materials like uh, contains in the smoking, plus alcohol or the carcinogenic other things like asbestos, they keep irritating the body, keep irritating. When you irritate, these oncogens, they try to remove it, remove all the damaged cells. Mm -hmm. So oncogens in the body is something that protects us from cancer. Like we're all day we're taking particles from air as well, but smoking you take more. So you try to get rid of it, rid of it, rid of it. What happens? In the end they can't manage. So this oncogens finishes. So the fathers that smoke, they have not enough oncogens and they pass the same thing to their children. So children or the father have a smoker. People they don't know that. Yeah, they, they, they don't have the um, oncogens required, so they get more cancers. So if you have a smoker, I advise them don't smoke because you're going to have children will have cancer. That's why we have the leukemias, brain cancer, things, little kids. Ask them all, father was smoking. Okay, mother smoking can small babies, but father thinks I'm okay, it's the mother should stop smoking. No. If you plan to have a child, then fathers must stop smoking because his oncogens gets less, you have less protection towards cancer. Okay. So you if mentioned you don't about think nicotine. for yourself then, just think of your children. Well, yeah, they should. I mean, don't be selfish. I mean, if you have children, don't have children if you go smoking. 
because that says I'm okay. I mean, this is what happens. I mean, just like certain genetical things like thalassemia. If you have thalassemia yourself and, mo- and wife, of course, you can pass to your children. Okay? And if your only father has it, well, it's, this is unavoidable. I mean, this is something you pass. There's nothing to stop researchers doing to do something. But this is, is avoidable. This harm is caused by self. Okay, people say, oh, I mean, well, we'll talk to you later. I don't want to, yeah. I don't know what questions are, carry on with questions. <laughs> uh, I already asked you about the lungs. Okay. You mentioned that. And uh, how does uh, tar and nicotine affect the lungs? Okay. No, Although ways. I liked you talking. Oh, yes. okay. I, I just need to <laughs> okay. ask some questions. Okay. Too. Well, we have to talk to other people as well. <laughs> so first of all, when you smoke, what happens? You, in addition to those particles, you got to smoke everything. So. In the arch, in the bronchioles, now forget about the blood vessels now, same thing, think of again, solinas, okay, mm-hmm. something pipes. And nice. Inside, you've got little hairs. Mm-hmm. It's like a sweeper, they sweep, okay? okay? Like brush, mm-hmm. you brush it. This, when you smoke something or dirt, it brushes, sometimes you bring saliva or you cough, get out. And some absorb. When you smoke all the time, you kill these hairs, you kill this brush. So instead of doing like that, it stops, so it swells up. So first of all, it's that dirt things accumulate from smoke. Things is that carcinogenic medications. I mean, when you smoke, we said more than 4,000 uh, particles I mean, in the smoke, okay? Mm-hmm. Most of them are causing car- uh, cancer, like benzopyrene, I guess nicotine, all this benzene, butane, the things is like, like a, you're lighting a cigarette, like a petrol. It contains everything. It contains, tar is like a petrol. Okay? It contains tar. What is a tar? Tar, what is, is a petrol made of? When you get the um, tar, I mean fuel from Middle East, okay? They come to the um, places, they clean it, become a petrol. Mm-hmm. So this tar contains all this dirt. More than 4,000. Some of them I've been showing that. You can show it later on. So if a person smokes, say, 20 cigarettes a day, okay, they produce one gram of tar. What is tar? Tar is a sticky brown liquid like that. Yeah? So it covers the lungs, but lungs protects you, usually cleans, try to cleanse and cleanse. But if a person smokes three, four months, 20, 20 cigarettes a day, this is the amount, 83 gram of uh, tar you get. That's this is much. a cigarette there, it shows, and this is a look at it. Show that. Can you imagine that? Body is fighting all the time, but how much are you going to fight? Even you have the biggest army in the world, if you kill them all the time, and your lungs go. So, you get lung cancer. Uh, what other cancers, except lung cancer, can you well, get you smoking? Smoking affects every part of the body, because you don't have these cells only in the lungs, all over the body. Start from the mouth, gums. From smoking, you can get a gum cancer because you are irritating all the time. Also, now there's new thing, especially smoked by the Afghanistan and Kurdish people, the Middle East, called marash otu. It is a kind of nicotine, like tobacco, sorry, mm-hmm. and placed between the teeth and the gum. Oh, yeah, I've they seen put that, that now. They, they are sold in Haringey everywhere. And we did spoke to Home Office about this, but they haven't done anything yet. And I gave a talk in the House of Parliament about a few years ago. I mentioned it, but they're still thinking about doing it. Because, it, uh, I don't know, I don't, I'm not a politician, I don't want to get into it, but they keep doing it, even the children now. I don't mind the adults, they want to kill themselves, kill, but children don't know it. They take it and it contains 15 times more nicotine than that. So it affects their teeth. When they go to dentists or doctors, if you see a Kurdish guy or Turkish or people are smoking Afghanistan, this black teeth, ask them, they smoke that. that. Well, they put it in your mouth and it goes numb and they die more because, I mean, they got more nicotine. Cancer rate is high. So affects the gums and teeth. Affects the throat. You heard about it. It's from a smoker. Also, you got some class ladies when they talk, they talk like a man and the sound changes because larynx changes. Uh, rich people also, because they smoke, it's nice. They own cigars, voice changes and they get cancer. And you go down to esophagus, then you got esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, intestine. Well, these are the ones that go through like that. Other particles, there's 4,000 of them, I mean, like benzene type, like uh, petrol type, they go through blood vessels, can give liver cancer, they can give bladder cancer, kidney cancer. So 
it can affect anybody, any part of any the body. Any type of cancer. Even you get skin cancer. So what is, because you're, well, these are particles that poisons keep irritating where they go. That's like, you have this wood there. If I scratch all the time, okay, you can put polish, keep doing it, damaging it, what happens? It goes. That's what happens. Yes, That's what they, so it, it causes cancer for every part of the body, not only the lungs. Now you mentioned skin. Does it affect the skin, uh, smoking? Yes, it does. Because first of all, you don't get enough blood supply. Mm -hmm. Okay? And also, not enough nutrients goes there. And you keep all these particles, they also go under the skin. This also can affect the uh, skin. So, so you can get a scalp sometimes, the face sometimes. Don't confuse with the moles. Mm -hmm. So you get cancer anywhere. You could get wrinkles. Some people because only uh, think about their face or their looks. And uh, if you tell them about the wrinkles, they might stop. So it gets you wrinkles? Well, some people <laughs> say to me, uh, I do Botox. Botox is a poison. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm against the doctors who use Botox. Because Botox is uh, the dirtiest, more harmful bacteria, toxin in the world. If it goes into your blood system, you die. But they try to use a small amount. What it does with, with Botox, they paralyze the uh, nerves. So I got, you got a skin here, okay? Mm -hmm. Skin. So people think that I smoke, I got wrinkles, but I'm going to use Botox. No. You have to cause more damage to your body. Okay. Because what happens? Good paralyzes. So when you smile, you got these wrinkles, right? But when you give the Botox, you paralyze the nerves, okay? Nerves. So it stays like this. And some people, they, go, they kind of smile, they go like this. I'm sorry we're going off the subject, but sometimes uh, topics bring other topics, which is good for the people that are watching it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, don't say that a lot of questions I smoke, are. but I'm going to do uh, Botox. I'm sorry, but you, you do more harm. Well, doctors make money. I mean, the ones who make the Botox. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how does, uh, let's go back to tar and nicotine. How does it affect the heart? Well, as I explained to you, it makes the uh, red cells sticky. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does heart need? Heart is also an organ, like a plant. It needs nutrition every day. Okay, but unfortunately, certain vessels in the heart are not very large, very thin. That's why I said God should make the heart uh, vessels very large, then we would never die. <laughs> but the thing is that, that it causes blockage. The simple way to people is blockage. Because when you smoke, the red cells become sticky. So they don't pr uh, bring enough um, oxygen either, go slowly. Mm -hmm. And also, when you smoke, red cells should carry pure oxygen. What, what happens, you, it, they contain carbon dioxide and monoxide. Mm -hmm. So you don't give them good oxygen. So that's why people, when they have angina, what happens, not oxygen got enough, and the blood vessels are blocked. So they give them sprays to open the blood vessels to carry more oxygen. So I know people, they take tablets stress, and they smoke. So you just cancel it. So Smoking causes narrowing of the vessels, blockage, and also you take, when you narrow it, say you give some food like liquid to the plants, you need a clean, good water, okay? Mm -hmm. But to you, in addition to that, you give them less poison blood, well. another, you give them poison as well, to get just like dirty petrol. So you have a car, there's blockage in the tubes, okay? Plus, you give them dirty petrol, how would it go? Same thing like, so heart gets blocked as well, you got headaches and all the side effects. Okay. That's why I said that you know, smoking is very bad. Mm -hmm. uh, in recent years, it has become very popular for young people to smoke uh, shisa. Um, they say that it's not harmful, that it's okay because we have um, uh, mint or <laughs> fruit extracts, uh, so it's okay, it's not smoking actually. Uh, is it true that? Well, I, I get this often from parents. They say, Doctor, my son comes with, after school with children, they have shisha in their bedroom, okay? They say, It is mint, mom, because it smells mint, she says. It's, it's grapes, we smoke grapes. No, it is tobacco, and it is just essence, some perfume <laughs> to give that smell. Like if you go to the toilet, it smells, you put something there. It doesn't matter your feces, it, is, it smells like perfume. So it's that, it's, it's that thing. So I give that analogy so people know. So it is the tobacco, but shisha is more, much more dangerous than cigarette smoking. One, use charcoal.
to burn all the time. Mm, yes. Okay, but the cigarette here, the petrol, whatever it is, it burns easily. But even also with the smoking, some people just like have it go like this, go like that. But with shisha, you got to inhale it to take it to bubbles because they like to see bubbles. Mm -hmm. When you go like this, you don't have bubbles. You have to do it really heavily. And how do I know it? They made me try one day. I was coughing all night. And then like this, and then my mouth was bitter for three days. I don't know why they take it. They, and also they think going through the water, it takes everything. No, it doesn't. It takes everything. Okay, it doesn't. So it's charcoal goes more carbon monoxide. And also with, with that, you don't smoke in one finish. You carry on hours. So if you do one shisha, it can be equivalent to one 20 cigarettes. Because keep doing it, keep doing it non-stop. And also, often, they do in a room. Okay, in Middle East, what they do, uh, they do outside. Okay, you got sort of uh, less concentration. Mm -hmm. So you ha there's a thing, term called passive smoker. So when you smoke in a room, you are become passive smoker. You smoke all the time, plus that. So if you don't smoke and you do it next to other people, you also can get harm. So if you go to shisha, that's why government uh, put a law that you must do it outside. So it says it will kill yourself, kill because. Uh, it's your own uh, decision. I mean, okay. They kind of stop because they make money as well. I mean, when people smoke, I mean, normal cigarettes should cost about 10 pence. They say, well, 10 pounds. So they make money. But in the end, government pays for it, for treatment. Okay. So shisha is bad. It's I mean, don't listen to mint or grapes or anything. Worse. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It causes bronchitis, lung disease. I mean, first of all, I mean, it affects lungs more than affecting other parts of the body because you fill it up all the time. So you got bron bronchitis, chest infections throat problems, everything. Okay. So, uh, some people start smoking when they're, they're young. It's just, they don't think mm -hmm. too much. And it, well, then it gets even harder to stop. How can you stop smoking? Well, first of all, younger you smoke, more damage you cause. Mm -hmm. Because people grow until age 18, 20. The brain, all body. Just like you have a plant, okay, when it's small, okay, if you damage something, the whole life when it grows up, it's damaged. But if a tree is grown, you have less damage. So people that start young, they get more and more problems. They get more cancer. Okay? So how to stop it? Educate. Education starts at home. And the worst thing is children usually copy what mom and dad does. If mom and dad smoke like that, even I smoke outside now. We smoke in the kitchen. I'm sorry, it goes everywhere. I have this uh, family. I don't want to mention what nationality, but surname was Ahmed. And it says, uh, doctor, you told us it's, it caused harm. We wait for the children to sleep, then we smoke. Oh. Can you imagine that? So, so, I mean, some people are really thick. This smoking is bad for your children and bad for you. So when you smoke, they think there's nothing wrong. That's another thing. That, so you should stop uh, smoking and tell them what's wrong with this. So, and the teachers as well. And it's see what sort of friends they have. Mm -hmm. So tell them from the beginning. It causes cancer, it causes everything. So then they will stop. But... With my um, patients, most of them are from Middle East, Greek, Turkish, everything. I will never forget, the guy said to me, um, Doctor, you spoke on television before and told us that smoking affects the brain, affects the heart. Okay, um, you can skip this if you want later on, but I'll tell you something. Uh, how does uh, affect, I know it affects the lung, colon cancer, how does it affect the brain and heart? Oh, I said, I love it. That's what I like to teaching. I told him all this, explain how it narrows everything. But I said, you know, it affects the endothelial cells. I don't want to go into medicine, but affect inside cells, blockage. I said, the same system down below, I said, sex-wise. So it also, have a look tonight. What do you have there to bring it up, your organs? Do you have anything brings, metals, everything? No, it says blood vessels. Well, like this, I said, oh, sorry, affects your blood vessels. So the doctor says, we are not English. We don't understand this language. Tell us immediately, affects my sex life. I'll stop this. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you have mentioned education is the first thing to do to stop smoking. Prevention, yeah. Yes, prevention. So what else can you do to prevent or stop it, actually? Well, explain them how cigarette works. I mean, tell them it's not just like social life doing it. So it's not the, uh, just the paper. They become addicted. I mean, become, they be, after for, for a while, become addicted. What does you become addicted? Mainly you can addict you to the nicotine. Nicotine is uh, what it, it is in 
in the cigarette. So you is don't want it why, Sorry, is it why uh, people actually smoke? Is yes. it nicotine addiction? Mainly is that, I mean 90% is that. The rest may be something in the mouth and psychological. So okay. what happens, what is nicotine then? Nicotine is a substance that mm -hmm. it is in the cigarette, like this. So when you smoke, nicotine, when it goes to brain, brain has got receptors like mm -hmm. um, lock and key. So when you put the key into the engine, it turn, engine starts, okay? Mm -hmm. you will becomes working. So same thing here, when nicotine goes into the receptor, to the hole, keyhole, it starts releasing happy substance called dopamine. Dopamine is happiness. Mm -hmm. Even when psychiatrists go to somebody and they say, I'm depressed, the, most of the medicine we give is to release dopamine, but not from cigarette smoking. Yeah? It otherwise. just gives the tablets. Okay? So then this is released, but it's not continuous. Anything goes into brain, it's just temporary. It comes down, you become happy, and then when um, dopamine level goes down, you become irritable. That's why you see some girls go to the parties, irritation, and they go out quickly and then take two cigarettes. They don't enjoy anymore. I mean, people don't enjoy smoking anymore. It's addiction, just mm -hmm. like alcoholic. I and mean, people, when they become alcoholic, they don't take alcohol to enjoy it. They become like this. So this is another addiction, okay? So nicotine is something that you get addicted. You don't get enjoyment anymore. Mm -hmm. So what happens, your brain, your body become irritable, irritable, you can be sweaty and you want, uh, your hair goes funny, so you won't take more. So you take again smoking, right? and, but each time you take nicotine, this time the receptors, keyholes, get more and more. So you need more cigarettes. So instead one a day, two a day, three a day, pack it and some 30. So you smoke it, dopamine comes out, brain, brain get exhaustion, you don't get very much then you want to more smoke. So that's what happens. It's called it's addiction. Psycho. It's the nicotine. So the main thing is, first of all, psychological talk to them if it's not too much. If it's, they can't stop on their own by talking psychological. We have so many things to stop nico I mean, nicotine. We call replacement. Replacement mm -hmm. therapy that is that you give something which is, not, which is less harmful. If body needs nicotine, why taking the whole cigarette? Why taking the burning of the cigarette? Why burn it, uh, take that 4,000 particles? Nicotine is another harmful thing, but it's only one out of 4,000. So you mm -hmm. get rid of this 4,000, just 4,001, just take nicotine. So you can have other nicotine patches. You open that, okay, there's a patch in there, mm -hmm. you stick it, it releases nicotine. Okay. If that doesn't help, some people are addicted to um, mouth, smoke like cigarettes all the time, mm -hmm. like that. So you put nicotine in the tubes like that. You take a tube, like this, okay. You put inside, mm -hmm. you click That's it, pure nicotine. and then, yes, pure nicotine. Because this time you kill like this, get the feeling. Mouth and that. <laughs> and also, I, this is my favorite. This contains mint as well. You shake that, it's a spray. You press like that, mm -hmm. yeah. you swallow your saliva, put under your tongue, you spray it. I want to spray it, okay. Close your mouth, 77 seconds, it goes to the brain. So that's what it is. So you need nicotine. So if there is a will, there is a way. If they don't want to stop, then what can you do? Let them die. I mean, what can I say? That's what I told my patients. And usually Cypriots and Greeks and Turkish and this, and this, the only time they want to stop smoking when they get a heart attack, when they have cancer. When you already have that's a problem, that's, that's right. when yeah. They don't come stop. before because they know it. And I tell them, look, if you have cancer, one, I said, look, I mean, you're going to have cancer treatment. I know people don't like, like me now. The treatment will, I mean, if it's, it's spreading, six months, one year. So it might end up enjoy, carry on as a smoke more. They don't like it, but they say, doctor, you're right. I'll stop all these chemical things when it goes. I'll carry on smoke and die happy. What can I do? Just tell them that sometimes on television, you have people who come out, don't smoke, I've got cancer, but it's too late. So it's better to stop from the beginning and tell your children. That's one of the things. So we've talked all about this harmful, uh, things about smoking, uh, most people know about that, uh, they pretend they don't know. Well, why do actually they smoke? Why do One of them is curiosity. Everybody is smoking, why should I do it myself? Mm -hmm. And second thing, wrong friends, like they encourage you, take it, because if you smoke, you could be one of us. And some kids, when you go to discotheque, age 14, 13, by t smoke, they think I am big, I am old enough. They may, you know, the makeups and everything to look older. And some people believe that it makes you happy, which it doesn't. And everybody does it, it's cheap. My mom and dad smokes. 
and some people they say that I'm fed up. What shall I do? Instead of doing exercise, sports, you know, from uh, um, from boredom, they say it's, it helps you. I mean, all these things. I mean, wrong friends, wrong uh, belief. All this, you start smoking, and I think that uh, education is part of it. And if you have children that mix with people that smoke or take even now cannabis drugs, okay, make sure that they don't mix with them. Or if anybody offers you something, tell your parents and be friendly with your children. I know our society, if they see children smoke, they hit them, this and that. Don't hit it, just son, sit down. This is what it does, because if he hits, it's going to hide from you. So the best thing is be friendly with the family, with the children, and tell them which is the Show them the show, yes. and they'll know yeah. more. <laughs> and show them there's 4,000 particles. It's not just, just nicotine there, just anything. So they will stop things, say other things, do exercise, be healthy. OK, that's the thing. OK, thank you so much. You're You've been very helpful. Thank you.